Okay, folks, I'm back at the Stormtrooper doing an update. We finally got our DC air conditioner. We're heading into spring and summer. I wanted to share with you um, the DC 48-volt uh, air conditioner. We have it on a separate disconnect here, and it's for keeping this basement condition, heating and cooling. It's worked really good. It's been in, uh, oh, since December, I think. Here's the, here's the fan coil unit. And it's set on 65 right now. She's putting out a little bit of heat because it was cold up here this morning. It's about 45 degrees up here this morning. So she's heating the space, a nice little living space. And she will cool it too. Great little heat pump. So nice spot. It's almost finished. Let me take you outside and show you the, the outdoor unit. Again, this is not a normal air conditioner. Uh, it's, it's a DC all the way. DC compressor running off a 48 volt battery bank. We did put some Mitsubishis in, but we also put in the hot spot, okay? And she's out here running, just, I'm doing a test. I know Mitsubishis are kind of the, the Cadillac of uh, gonna get Stu's heating and cooling a little advertising here um, Cadillac of uh, air conditioners but the hot spot is a little more efficient and I'm on DC so it's kind of mounted on a universal mount outside got your line sets going in you got a P you got your disconnect out here and so it just looks like a regular mini split but she isn't a regular mini split and she only pulls max about 800 watts and uh, so she's, she's just very cool so anyway the system is on and running it's nice to come back and see something working so well but I wanted to really talk about the hot spot on DC air conditioner so you have your outdoor unit and your indoor unit it is a 12,000 BTU or one ton mini split heat pump that'll do heating and cooling and uh, so we did the whole house with mini splits and we're able to run completely off grid and be very very comfortable these are working to down below zero so you can get your house all nice and conditioned and hop in the hot tub and run off of your 10k of solar so if you need some air conditioning solutions off grid and maybe not do the whole house but maybe just your master bedroom or a place of escape a place to retreat to or a mountain cabin uh, consider a hot spot um, they're on our website check out the description the units are about $1,700 not bad for a mini split and then we'll have to configure the amount of solar panels and batteries you'll need to run it in an off-grid fashion we also have the hybrid that is AC DC been running that now for six months not had a problem all right this is engineer 775 heading to the indoor unit and then maybe we'll sign off but uh yeah so this works out it's really toasty in here it was cold this morning and this little unit's handling it's about a thousand square foot of basement it's doing really well it'll keep it cool and then the mechanical room is quite a ways away so that is good keep that place nice and cool but no humidity um, I'm just looking for the remote. I don't know where they set the remote for this baby. Uh, dee -dee -dee -dee. Where did they put the remote? Hmm. In search of. Not there. They hit it on me. Anyway, there is a remote that comes with the unit so that you can turn it on and off from the comfort of your own, your couch. So, anyway, if you have any questions about it, let me know. I just don't, if you know where the remote is, let me know.